have you ever been plagued by persistent runny nose or qatar that never seems to leave you alone you know that never seems to give you alone and leave you alone <laughs> see i'm rapping <laughs> okay okay please um let's be serious here okay i know it's disgusting and embarrassing i hate myself the most whenever i have runny nose like it's embarrassing you're in public you're talking to people and something is something is down there and then someone might be like sis sis baby sis um your nose clean it it's disgusting i've i've been there severally i've been there done that okay so in this video i'm going to talk about one of the frequent causes of runny nose and cancer that most people seem to ignore stay tuned <music> There are several things that cause runny nose and cutter. There are several, a whole lot of things that cause runny nose and cutter. One of them is the cold virus. The other is um, pollen allergy. But the most overlooked cause of um, runny nose and cutter is, guess what? Nobody's saying anything. The most overlooked cause is pet allergy. Yeah, you're wondering, pets, 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 pets. Yes, there are allergies gotten from pets, like from the force of pets, from their um, feathers, um, from their urine, their saliva, you know, anything that has protein coming out from pets, like from their dandas. Dander is um, dead, the flex of dead skin coming out of the body. Once you help any of those things, their force, their hairs, their dandas, then your body might be pushed to see them as harmful foreign body and then starts making uh, antibodies against them. The antibody your body makes against them can be so exaggerated that it leads to allergy in you. The signs of allergies are so numerous. There are like plenty forms of animal allergy. And the animals you can get those allergy from include dogs and cats. From dogs and cats, um, they cause allergy to their fours, their hairs, their dandas. Remember I said dandas is the uh, flex of dead skin because every human being, every human, every animal shades their skin. So that skin they are shading is called danda. okay? So that skin they are shading, if you inhale any of them, if you, because they'll be in the air, they'll be released as dust. If you inhale it, if you inhale their urine, if you inhale their saliva, okay then you might get allergy other animals that cause allergy are rodents like animals like um rats mice you know they have hairs the um shade dandas um saliva and urine the other animal is chicken this one usually happens to my husband if he enters um, a poultry farm if he enters the poultry farm and then in a matter of minutes he will start sneezing and having runny nose you know it's it's just allergy and what causes allergy from chicken is the mites in their feather the mites in their feather might get blown up with breeze and they enter the atmosphere if you inhale it then you might come down with runny nose or cutter, you know. The other uh, way you can get allergy from chicken is from the um the dust, fine dust from their feces. Once you inhale it, you be prone to getting allergy. Then other animals include horses, but there are animals you never get allergy from. One of them is snakes. <laughs> One of them is snake. You know, these animals, they don't have feathers. They don't have furs. You know, snake does not have feather. It doesn't have fur. The other one is tortoise. The other one is frog. And unfortunately, most people do not like owning some of these animals that do not produce pet allergy as pets. They prefer dogs, cats, horses, you know, the fun ones. So... I want to I want to challenge you if you've been having um if you've been having persistent runny nose and cutter I want you to do a test you know just separate yourself from any animal you might have been in contact with or any animal that lives with you, you could travel you could go for a holiday you stay for a month or so and then and check whether the allergy goes away if it goes away then definitely is pet allergy I understand so 
I hope this video was very helpful to you. If it was, give it a thumbs up and comment below that's how you found it interesting. Have you ever had any experience with pet allergy? Please comment down below. I want to hear your experience. I'll be in the comment section. Please subscribe to this channel so that when next I make a video like this, you'll be the first to know. Stay safe. I love you.